You know, most people, most people would have just thrown this dump truck out. It's got a couple holes in the bed, but the frame is gorgeous. It's got good tires, but everything else about the truck is just sketchy. So this cord I drilled through the hole of the body of the truck is how you start it. Open the door. Now in order to start this truck, it's quite simple. First thing you gotta do is move your big gulp out of the way. Um, okay. Uh, then you gotta go over to the ECM here. Plug it in. Okay, now that's plugged in. Ignore that broken wire, that's not necessary. Then under the dash here, you gotta take this red wire and plug it into the broken fuse box. Get the fuse box lined up so you can plug it in. We'll just plug it up. Okay, and this goes into that pin slot right there. You can get it. It's hard because the fuse box isn't mounted. I get it. Uh, we'll find out. Uh, make sure the rest of these wires are out of the way. Oh, yeah, this is the uh, fuel pump wire I was talking about that goes to the cab. This is an old extension cord that just runs on the floor. Not the hole. Then, uh, you gotta slam the door because it doesn't shut half the time. Turn the key on. Turn the key off. Turn the key on. Pump it. Two pumps. Then you turn the key. And there she is. Ignore that service engine light. I mean, that's. I mean. This look a little nicer for you. I'll just tuck those wires out of the way. And these wires out of the way. I mean. But let's see how nice it runs now. Ugh. Runs like a Rolex. Oh. And then you might want to fix the fuel leak.